This is Kay Strashny from Dedicated. We're in New York City at the AI Summit, and I stopped by the New York 4 j booth to talk to Naya. Naya, how's your AI Summit going? Oh, the AI Summit has been incredible. It has been incredible. So I just gave a talk, actually. Um, the talk was titled Connecting the Dots with Graphs, Context Engineering, and Learning More About How Context Engineering Works. Um, and I had an amazing time. People gave me such good feedback. I was like, I'm so honored. You deserve all the good feedback. Yeah, Honestly, so I was in the session. Yeah. Naya's probably one of the best speakers I've ever seen. And I go to sessions, that's like for a living, right? Wow. I, I truly mean it. Yeah. So much passion. Everyone was listening. I felt like I was in a classroom learning about context engineering and knowledge yeah. graphs. So let's let's get right into it. Mm -hmm. You started your talk mm -hmm. today about talking about why it's a problem to have mm -hmm. dozens of agents working together. You know, we, we have this fantasy that it's all going to go well, but what, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, what could possibly go wrong? What a great question. Okay, so I like to think of when we have lots of different agents, I like to think of this idea of um, air traffic control, right? So with air traffic control, you want to make sure that everything is in a very ordered fashion, right? And planes are arriving and taking off in a particular order or time, right? However, when you have lots of different ag agents working together and they don't have this core thing, this core shared experience called context, then you actually have chaos, right? airplanes coming in another plane coming in right after the other we could have crashes anything could happen you do not want that to happen no so. no, no. <laughs> not at all lives are i don't want to be on that plane either i would never okay so that's why i like to say that when you have agents you have to make sure that you're giving them correct context at the correct time yes yeah so you also talked about context engineering yes. versus prompt engineering. Yes. I think my audience is more familiar with prompt engineering. Ah, yeah. So what are some of the differences and why is context engineering important? Excellent question. So prompt engineering, for folks who are not um, who are not aware, prompt engineering is when you try to word a particular prompt in a certain way in order for your uh, LLM or your agent to then give you a particular answer. So you're trying to do that like, mm, maybe if I say it this way, it'll give me the right response. But context engineering on the other side, it has lots of different facets, but context engineering is how we're managing the context of the data and the knowledge that we're providing to our agent, and then how then we map that all together. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, that makes sense. And then knowledge graph augmented context. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? Yeah, so knowledge graph augmented context is when you are taking your context and you're adding a knowledge graph layer onto that context. So a knowledge graph, for those who don't know, uh, we'll do a simple representation. So you can be a node and I can be a node. These are just the circles of the knowledge graph. Are we graph. connecting our nodes? We're connecting our nodes. We're connecting our nodes through a relationship. We're now friends. So that's our new relationship and that's the structure of a knowledge graph. So you would add a knowledge graph onto your uh, AI orchestration layer. So the knowledge graph is sitting on top of your data store and then right before it's going to actually connect to your Gen AI applications. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to AI, why do we need knowledge graphs? How do they actually help? Oh my gosh, okay. Knowledge graphs are pivotal to make sure that your AI applications and your agents are traceable, right? Having traceable data, having accurate information that's coming in and out of your agent, and then that's traceable as well. You can actually trace where that data is coming from, for which is different from normal people who are using vector stores where you see this, you know, you're, you could use an area nearest neighbor algorithm in order to try and pinpoint however that then creates a problem where it could give you like slightly off results which would then uh, contribute to context poisoning oh naya yes most of the companies i talk to they have a lot of data they have a lot of structured data mm -hmm. they have rows they have columns mm -hmm. is it hard for them to now turn that data into a knowledge graph no okay <laughs> that's what i want everyone to know no it is not hard to do there's lots of different methods and ways that people can turn your data into knowledge graphs so for example we we, we were just talking about many people store their data in tables and rows. If you're storing your data in tables and rows, then you're often doing what we call complex joins in order to figure out what are the relationships between your data, right? Mm -hmm. And so what we want folks to do is to understand that that relationship information can be really important. And so if we are losing that relationship information or if we're just showing complex joins and slowing down the performance of yeah. your application, then you're losing a lot of that important context. So uh, it's super easy to translate 
your um, uh, your structured data into what would be shown as a knowledge graph. We have a couple nodes behind us, um, but there's lots of different ways to do it. And they're really easy. Lots of free courses as well, free books. We have lots of ways to do it. I'm really glad you said that. It's yeah. not a very difficult process. No. And then last question, I always yes. want to know, where can my audience go to learn more about this? Oh my gosh, excellent question. <laughs> So where you can go to learn more, I have to plug our friends at Graph Academy, okay? okay. Graph Academy, which is graphacademy.com. Um, it's an excellent resource which has lots of hands-on, free, self-paced courses, which are are um, you actually, it's hands-on keyboard, right? You're learning how to build knowledge graphs. You're learning how to build AI agents with a knowledge graph layer. Lots of courses. We also have a number of different white papers that people can read at graphrag.com slash appendices slash research. I'll put the link in the comments. Thanks so much. Yeah. <laughs> and all the different white papers and resources for folks to learn more about graph. Okay, amazing. And make sure you follow Neo4j on all social media platforms. Yes. Naya, thank you so much. This has been a pleasure. You're the best anytime, girl. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>